Okay, I hope this works. Um, so I'm going to go over this page that's going to be in your package. It says problem centered uh, circle story. And I'll go over the two sides of it. So we're going to start with the first side, which is the side that begins with characters and setting. Okay, so I drew a picture on the board here different parts of that sheet. For now, you can leave the title blank because you probably don't know the title of your story since you haven't written it yet. If you have a specific idea for a story and you know what the title is going to be, you can put it in there and change it later. But if you don't, that's okay, just leave it blank. Opening sentence. Again, we're going to leave this blank till later. We'll come back in and finish this, okay? What we will do this week, and what my class did this week, is we're going to do two characters and the setting. So, you remember from the vocabulary uh, in the, uh, the slideshow we had about literary elements, we have protagonists and antagonists. So the protagonist, that's the main character, usually the good guy in the story, that's going to be the first circle. Okay? And the antagonist, the bad guy, or the force that's trying to stop the good guy, that's going to go in this circle. And of course the setting, where and when this is happening, will go in this circle. The circles are kind of small. If you can't fit everything in there, you can just kind of go past it, over the edges, it doesn't matter. It's just to help you organize your story. So, let's just pick an example. Little Red Riding Hood, right, we've talked about that one. Uh, in our meeting, you have Little Red Riding Hood. So, who's the protagonist of that story? Well, a lot of stories, the protagonist is in the title, right? Little Red Riding Hood, that's the protagonist. So, we'll say, I'll just say Little Red. Maybe just her name was actually, I think, just Red, right? No, she had a red hood? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Then we have the antagonist. The antagonist, the force that she's going against or is trying to stop her or harm her, is the wolf. Alright, so we've got the wolf there. And I encourage you to make sure your characters have a name. So the wolf isn't good. Let's call him Mr. Wolf. Or Wolfie, or whatever you like. Bill, doesn't matter. We know who the character is. Then we've got the setting. Where does the story take place? Well, you know, there's lots of versions of the story, and it kind of takes place in different... The story has different settings. So it might begin at Little Red Riding Hood's house with her family, go into the forest, Grandma's cottage. So where is the primary action happening? Where is most of it happening? We'd say probably the forest and the cottage, right? So setting, we'll say something like, uh, Grandma's Cottage and we'll say, you know, what time is the story taking place? What's well, the daytime? We could say daytime, we could say the season. You know, we have a daytime in the fall, right? That will help us with our description. Okay, so that's really all you need to do for the first side of that page. Just think of a character, right? And when you're thinking of these characters, you're probably already thinking of your story, right? And if it helps you to kind of go to the second side first and come back and fill in the characters, you can do that. Um, so you're gonna get an idea already, like what's, who's the story about? What might be happening to them, right? Okay, so let's go over to the next one. I'll just uh, pause this.